Hey there, science fans. Today, we're diving into the world of pipe stress analysis. It's a critical field that ensures the safety and reliability of the pipes that transport liquids and gases all around us. From the water in our homes to the natural gas that heats our stoves, these pipes play a vital role in our daily lives. Pipe stress analysis is like giving our pipes a checkup. We use science and engineering principles to make sure they can handle the pressure. It's all about identifying potential problems before they turn into major headaches. Trust me, nobody wants a burst pipe. This process involves analyzing the various forces acting on pipes, such as pressure, temperature changes, and even their own weight. By understanding these forces, engineers can design and maintain piping systems that are safe, efficient, and built to last. So buckle up as we explore the fascinating world of pipe stress analysis. Pipes might look like simple structures, but they're constantly subjected to a variety of forces. These forces can come from both internal and external sources, making the study of loads and stresses on pipes a complex yet fascinating topic. Imagine a pipe carrying hot steam under high pressure. This scenario is common in many industrial settings where pipes are used to transport steam for heating, power generation and other processes. The heat causes the pipe to expand while the pressure pushes outward on its walls. This combination of thermal and pressure forces can significantly impact the pipe's structural integrity. These forces create stress within the pipe material. Stress is essentially the internal resistance offered by the material to the external forces acting upon it. We call these forces loads. Loads can be categorized into different types based on their origin and nature. Some common loads on pipes include pressure, the force exerted by the fluid inside the pipe. This is one of the most significant loads, especially in high pressure systems. Temperature changes in temperature cause pipes to expand or contract. This thermal expansion and contraction can lead to significant stress if not properly managed. Weight. The pipe itself, along with any fluids or insulation it carries, creates a downward force. This load is often underestimated but can be substantial, especially in large-scale industrial systems. External loads. Think wind, earthquakes or even heavy machinery resting on the pipes. These external factors can introduce additional stresses that must be accounted for in the design and maintenance of piping systems. Each of these loads creates different types of stress within the pipe material. Understanding these stresses is crucial for predicting how a pipe will behave under various conditions. Axial stress. Stress acting along the length of the pipe like pulling on a rope. This type of stress is common in pipes that are subjected to tension or compression forces. Bending stress. Stress that tries to bend the pipe, like leaning on a branch. Bending stress can occur due to uneven support or external forces acting perpendicular to the pipe's length. Torsional. Stress. Stress that twists the pipe like using a wrench. This type of stress is particularly relevant in systems where pipes are subjected to rotational forces, hoop stress. Stress that acts circumferentially around the pipe wall, like squeezing a balloon. Hoop stress is a critical factor in the design of pressure vessels and pipelines. Understanding these loads and stresses is crucial for ensuring the integrity of piping systems. Proper design, regular maintenance and thorough inspections are essential to prevent failures and ensure the safe operation of industrial piping networks. Now that we know about the forces acting on pipes, let's talk about why pipe stress analysis is so important. It all boils down to safety. When pipes fail, the consequences can be severe. First and foremost, pipe failures can lead to leaks or ruptures, releasing hazardous materials into the environment. This can pose serious risks to human health, safety and the environment. Imagine a natural gas pipeline rupturing. Talk about a dangerous situation. Beyond safety, pipe stress analysis also helps ensure compliance with industry standards and regulations. These standards are in place to protect people and the environment, and engineers must demonstrate that their designs meet these requirements. But it's not all about safety and regulations. Pipe stress analysis also plays a vital role in cost efficiency. By identifying potential problems early on, engineers can avoid costly repairs downtime and even legal issues down the road. It's always better to be safe than sorry and... Section 4. Crunching the numbers, calculating pipe stress. 
This is where the real magic happens, where theory meets practice and where engineers ensure the safety and efficiency of piping systems. So, how do engineers actually perform pipe stress analysis? It's a meticulous process that requires a deep understanding of both the physical properties of materials and the operational conditions they will face. It's a combination of science, math, and a little bit of computer magic. Engineers rely on sophisticated software to simulate real-world conditions and predict how pipes will behave under various loads and stresses. Engineers use specialized software to create computer models of piping systems. These models are incredibly detailed, capturing every bend, joint and support in the system. These models take into account all the loads and stresses we discussed earlier. This includes internal pressures, external forces, thermal expansion and even seismic activity. The software then uses complex equations to calculate the stresses at various points along the pipe. These calculations are based on principles of physics and material science ensuring accuracy and reliability. These calculations consider factors like pipe material properties, operating temperatures and the geometry of the piping system. Each of these factors can significantly impact the overall stress distribution. But it's not just about plugging numbers into a computer. Engineers need to interpret the results, understanding what the data means in a practical context. Engineers need to carefully consider the results and use their judgment to make sure the piping system is safe and reliable. This often involves a collaborative effort, with teams of engineers reviewing and discussing the findings. They might need to adjust the pipe supports, change the pipe routing, or even redesign certain sections to better handle the stresses or even select a different material to handle the stresses. The choice of material is crucial, as different materials have different strengths, flexibilities, and resistance to environmental factors. Pipe stress analysis is an iterative process, meaning engineers often go back and forth, refining their designs until they find the optimal solution. This iterative nature ensures that every aspect of the design is thoroughly vetted and optimized, meaning engineers often go back and forth, refining their designs until they find the optimal solution. This process can involve multiple rounds of analysis and adjustment, each one bringing the design closer to perfection, refining their designs until they find the optimal solution. The end result is a piping system that is not only safe and reliable, but also efficient and cost-effective, ready to withstand the demands of its operational environment. Section 5. Can your pipes handle it? Allowable stress limits. Every material has its limits, just like you wouldn't want to carry a bowling ball in a thin plastic bag. You wouldn't want to subject a pipe to stresses beyond its capacity. That's where allowable stress limits come in. These limits, often defined by industry codes and standards, specify the maximum stress a pipe material can withstand without failing. These limits vary depending on the material temperature and other factors. For example, a steel pipe can handle much higher stresses than a plastic pipe. Similarly, a pipe operating at high temperatures will have a lower allowable stress limit than the same pipe at room temperature. Engineers compare the calculated stresses from their analysis to these allowable limits. If the calculated stresses are below the limits, the piping system is considered safe. But if the stresses exceed the limits, engineers need to make changes to the design. Section 6. Feeling the heat, temperature and pipe stress. In this section, we will delve into the intricate relationship between temperature and the stress it induces on piping systems. Temperature plays a crucial role in pipe stress analysis. The impact of temperature variations on pipes cannot be overstated as it directly influences their structural integrity and performance. As we mentioned earlier, heat causes materials to expand and pipes are no exception. This expansion is a fundamental physical property that engineers must account for in their designs. When a pipe heats up, it wants to get bigger. This natural tendency to expand can lead to significant challenges in maintaining the stability and functionality of piping systems. This thermal expansion can create significant stresses in a piping system, especially if the pipe is restrained from moving freely. 
The constraints can lead to increased pressure and potential damage. Imagine a long straight pipe fixed at both ends. This scenario is common in many industrial settings where space and design constraints limit the movement of pipes. When it heats up, it has nowhere to go, so it experiences significant axial stress. This stress can lead to deformation, cracks or even catastrophic failure if not properly managed. Engineers use special expansion joints and loops in piping systems to accommodate thermal expansion. These components are designed to absorb the expansion and contraction of pipes, preventing undue stress. These components allow the pipe to expand and contract without putting undue stress on the system. Expansion joints and loops are critical in maintaining the longevity and safety of piping systems. The temperature also affects the allowable stress limits of pipe materials. Different materials respond differently to temperature changes and understanding these responses is key to effective pipe design. As temperatures rise, the strength of most materials decreases, meaning they can handle less stress before failing. This reduction in strength must be factored into the design and material selection process. That's why it's crucial to consider the operating temperature range when selecting pipe materials and designing piping systems. Engineers must choose materials that can withstand the expected temperature variations without compromising the system's integrity. In addition to selecting the right materials, engineers also conduct rigorous stress tests to ensure that the piping systems can handle the thermal loads they will encounter in real-world conditions. These tests and simulations help predict how pipes will behave under different temperature scenarios, allowing for more accurate and reliable designs. By understanding and mitigating the effects of temperature on pipe stress, engineers can design systems that are both safe and efficient, ensuring long-term performance and reliability. In conclusion, temperature and pipe stress are closely linked, and managing this relationship is essential for the success of any piping system. Through careful design, material selection and testing, engineers can create systems that stand the test of time.